What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, hit the notification bell, and comment down below, man. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. And if you want me on the panel, um, reach out to me on my email at knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. But without further ado, let's get it popping. Let's get into today's video. And today, we got our final fight prediction of the week, bro. We got our final fight prediction of the week, man. We're doing the main event of the Fox PBC card is going down on tomorrow night, bro. Man, that's good. We got Michael Coffey versus Jonathan Rice. Now, it's a heavyweight fight. Michael Coffey was supposed to be fighting Gerald Washington, but Gerald Washington pulled out of the fight because they say he got COVID, bro. So we got a late replacement in this one, man. In the main event, Jonathan Rice, man. COVID be messing up boxing right now, bro. I don't know why they just don't make it mandatory for these dudes to either quarantine when they got a fight coming up, get the shot, something, bro. Something, bro. We wish Gerald Washington nothing but the best. Hope he get better. All of that shit. But let's do this prediction. We got coffee, bro. Jonathan Rice, bro. Jonathan Rice coming out of Cali, bro. 34 years old, 6 foot 5. 13 and 6 and one record, bro. He got nine knockouts and he got knocked out twice his damn self. He lost two of his last three fights. He going against Michael Coffey. Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? Coming out of Brooklyn, bro. 35 years old, 6 foot 5, 83 inch reach. He's 12 and 0 with nine knockouts. He didn't knock out four opponents in a row, bro. Listen. Jonathan Rice, late replacement, fighting style, bro. He's like a survivor, bro. Everything he do is defensive, in my opinion. When he flick his jab out, it's defensive. When he, when he, the way he's staying is like defensive. Like he's always being defensive and very cautious in the ring, bro. And it's like in any like co high contact sport. In this case, a combat sport, bro. When you're not aggressive, that that actually is a bad thing, bro. Cause like that's when you get hurt, and that's why he done got knocked out twice. He got even though he went the distance with somebody like F.A. Ajagba, Ajagba hurt him, and that wasn't one of Ajagba's best performances, in my opinion, bro. He just to me, Jonathan Rice is a guy that you can get some rounds with, but I feel like if Michael Coffey is who we think he is, you know, Jonathan Rice really it shouldn't be too much of an issue. He's very defensive, as I said, but he's defensive, but his left hand is low. When he throw his jab, his jab is really just to keep you up off of him. You know what I'm saying? I just think as he's gone throughout his career, as the losses have piled up, the confidence is gone, and now he's just there, kind of a, a journeyman fighter, bro. You know, somebody that you would call to step in at the last minute, bro. I was really hoping to see Coffee versus Washington, bro. For Coffee, man, he started boxing late, only like five, six years ago. But, you know, former Marine and shit, but he is talented, bro. He's picking up very quick. He's already switching stances. He got great body work, great hooks and uppercuts on the inside to the body. You know what I'm saying? His his whatever hand is his backhand. If he's standing from the southpaw, you know that left hand is coming. Power. If he's standing orthodox, that right hand is coming. Power. Power in both hands. Um, defensively, a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do defensively. Head be on the line. He can't get hit to this point in his career. When he gets in exchanges, he gets the better of him. He ain't been hurt. He ain't been wobbled. Ain't nobody put him out of there yet. But it's heavyweight, bro. Eventually. As big and strong as those dudes are, eventually, uh, if he don't shore up his defense, get the head movement better, get the defensive fundamentals better, he could that could you know be a problem for him later on in his career. But so far, his offensive ability and body work and how he can fight on the inside, bro, Coffee, coffee looking good, bro. Coffee looking good so far, man. Very, very talented prospect. And you hate to say prospect at 35 years old, but, you know, in the heavyweight division, guys are so big and strong. You know, you can start a little later. Deontay Wilder started boxing at 19, for instance. So, you know, Coffee can get there. He's 12-0 with nine knockouts. This is another one where he gets to fight somebody 
that's been in there with a top contender, you know, a chance to be like, yo, F.A., yo, F.A. a jogger, you know, they, everybody say you the hot, you one of the hot prospects in the heavyweight division, everybody say you this, everybody say you that, you went the distance with Jonathan Rice, I knocked him smooth the hell out, you know what I'm saying, so good name for him to have on his resume. As far as they pass the victory, bro, it's heavyweights. So I give them both a chance. I give Jonathan Rice, if you catch Michael Coffey with the right shot, because of how big and how strong Jonathan Rice is, and he does have, what I say, nine knockouts in his career of his 13 victories. He carries some power. If he catches Michael Coffey with the right shot, I give Jonathan Rice a point. Zero 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 one percent chance of winning this fight. He got like a like a, a puncher's chance, but it's like the smallest puncher's chance that I've seen in a long time. Cause Michael Coffey is just better than him, bro. He's more aggressive. Jonathan Rice's hands is low. He can't fight on the inside. I don't think at this point in his career, losing six so far. Losing two of his last three, and one of those two got his ass knocked smooth the hell out by a fighter, in my opinion, is not as good as um as um Michael Coffey. As a matter of fact, bro, to put it in perspective for y'all, earlier in Jonathan Rice's career, bro, he went the distance with a guy that got a record of 18 and 42, bro. Jonathan Rice won that fight, but he he went the distance. The whole it was a six round fight. He went the distance with somebody that's 18 and 42, bro. 18 wins and 42 losses, bro. And now you finna get in there with Michael Coffey? Bro, Michael Coffey is gonna beat him up, bro. He's gonna beat him up, I'm telling y'all. And then I don't know what type of shape Jonathan Rice is in, bro. This is short notice. We just found out about this COVID shit like earlier this week, like I wanna say two days ago. So he accepted this fight on two, three days notice? No, bro. No, hell no. He getting knocked out, bro. He getting knocked out by Michael Coffey, bro. This 10-round fight, they sanction shit for 10 rounds, it going by half of that. It going by half of that, bro. I'm picking Coffey by knockout in like the fifth round, bro. He going to do him way worse than the Jogba did. And then when he do, he need to start calling out some top dogs like a Jogba, like Sanchez, like these other dudes, bro. It's time for him to get in there. It's time for him to get in there and show what he can do, bro, because he, he's cerebral. He thinks in the ring. He's getting better and better with every every camp, every time he fights. Coffee going to put on, bro. Coffee going to put on by knockout. So, with that being said, y'all need to parlay my picks so you can get some bread, bro. Number one, we picked. Um, who we picked yesterday, bro? Hold on. Do so many videos. That's right. Joey Spencer. That's a show, W. The hardest pick was the second one that we just dropped earlier today. That Vito Milnicki versus James Martin. Martin, that's a tricky one. Because James Martin won their last fight. And he won it pretty convincingly. But I'm going with Vito on this one. If you want to know the reasons why, y'all go check out the video that I dropped earlier today. And then the Michael Coffey pick, I feel like that's an easy one, bro. So at the very least, if you don't trust my Vito Milnicki pick, at the very least, bro, you should do a parlay with Joey Spencer. And Michael Coffey, try to get you some bread if you can, if you can get the right eyes on it, bro. And I would say you should do the parlay where you're picking both Joey Spencer and Michael Coffey to win by knockout, bro. Be some easy money for you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Trust your boy, bro. Trust your boy. For Vito Milnicki, I'm asking y'all to trust me too. But I understand if you're like, man, I don't know what the hell knockout talking about. But I'm going with Milnicki, bro. And in this one, Michael Coffey by knockout, bro. He's just a better fighter, bro. He's just a better fighter, and I and I give all heavyweights a puncher's chance, bro. It just depends on the chance. This homie here got a point oh, Jonathan Rice got a point oh 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 one percent chance of catching Coffee with the right shot, but it's a chance, bro. Michael Coffee has a ninety nine point nine 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 percent chance of winning this fight, and he got a ninety five percent chance of winning this fight by knockout, bro. He gonna win this shit. So put your money on it. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Comment down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. You know what I'm saying? Hit the notification bell. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. Don't forget about the live show that we do every week. This upcoming Wednesday, it'll be 7.30 p.m. Central Time. 
on August the 4th, bro. It's going to be a lit show. You got knocked the F out, episode 5, bro. I appreciate everybody watching this one. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out here. Peace, y'all.